You know you're in Scotland when you hear the sound of Scotland's national instrument, the bagpipe, floating over the heathered mountains, lochs and pine forests. The bagpipes are as central to Scottish identity and culture as haggis, kilts and whisky. Yet the pipes have an unsavoury history. They were played by the dastardly English hundreds of years before the Scots. Before you feel like I am entirely ripping apart Scottish culture, let's talk about the history of the bagpipes. It's speculated that the bagpipes came about as far back as ancient Egypt. I've read about an ancient Egyptian carving which shows a street musician holding under his left arm what seems to be a bagpipe, but I can't find a picture of it anywhere. But in my research, I did come across a picture that matched this description of a carving from the Hittite Empire that was around at the same time as the Egyptians, but was in Turkey. The Hittite did a lot of trade with the Egyptians, so that speculation that it came from the Egyptians may be right and they may have traded it. However, the Hittite were great inventors and were known for their fast chariots, so they could have just invented it themselves. It is widely thought that the bagpipe, whether an Egyptian or a Hittite invention, was then passed on to the Greeks, who then passed it on to the Romans. And that is where the first written records of the pipes came from. It's written that Emperor Nero of the ancient Romans could play the pipe both by means of his lips and by tucking a skin beneath his armpit. And here comes the first piece of blasphemous history, in the form of the legend of Caesar's bagpipes in the conquest of Britain. The story tells that Caesar, in an effort to keep Roman casualties to a minimum, decided to ambush the Celts. He did this by asking all his pipers to hide and at the pre-arranged signal, all play at once. The Celtic horses bolted through their riders and the Roman army rushed in. The Romans used the original pipe band against the Celts. Legend says that when the Britons realized what had happened, they believed that the instrument had magical qualities. Hearing this, the English then copied it from the Romans. And in fact, there is an archaeological find at Tewkesbury Abbey in Gloucestershire showing a small altar from the 2nd century AD depicting a figure playing an early type of bagpipe. So perhaps it was worshipped. Although this is all myth, it is clear that the bagpipes became popular in Britain after the Roman invasion in the 4th or 5th century. In fact... England became the centre of the bagpiping world, with Worcestershire, Nottinghamshire and Lancashire producing noted pipers and areas such as Cornwall, Northumberland, Lancashire and Lincolnshire making their own types of bagpipe. Strong evidence indicates that the Irish got their bagpipes from Anglo-Norman invading armies, while the Gaul Celts in France had at least seven types of bagpipes, which they also got from the Romans. The earliest evidence of a pipe in Scotland is from St Martin's Cross in Iona from 1750 AD, but looking at it, it's a little of a stretch to say it's definitely a bagpipe. The first unquestionable depictions of bagpipes in Scotland are at Melrose Abbey and Roslyn Chapel from the 15th century. In fact, hilariously to me, Melrose Abbey has a carving of a pig playing the bagpipes. Given the timings of these carvings, it is reasonable although probably not a popular opinion, to assume that the bagpipes came up from England. However, in 1528, a piper witnessed a legal document in Scotland, which means he must have had some sort of social standing, and from the 16th century onward, Highland pipers were referenced a lot in legal documents. In the Scottish Lowlands, pipers became a regular part of travelling bands of musicians, performing at weddings and fairs, and soon taking over the harpist as the musician of choice. 
whereas in the Highlands, pipers occupied a more serious position in society. The instrument became more associated with war, replacing trumpets to inspire Highlanders into battle. By the 18th century, the bagpipe had become a symbol of Scottish national belonging, becoming linked to the Jacobite movement and then the Jacobite rebellion, where Catholic Charles Stuart, otherwise known as Bonnie Prince Charlie, tried to take the throne from Protestant James II of Scotland, otherwise known as James IV of England. Bonus fact, Bonnie Prince Charlie did not take the throne and fled over the sea to France. The song My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean was written and sung by the Jacobites who could pass it off as a love song in front of the enemies of Bonnie Prince Charlie. In 1746, the Disarming Act came in to curtail Jacobitism and bring peace to the Highlands. It banned some people in Scotland from having warlike weapons unless authorised. Two years later, Highland dress, including tartan, was banned and a piper called James Reed was sentenced to death by hanging for treason for taking part in the Jacobite Rebellion. There is a myth that during this time the bagpipes were banned and that James Reed was hanged for being a piper. However, the bagpipes were never forbidden and James Reed was hanged but for his part in the rebellion, not for his profession. It is interesting to note that bagpipes have been banned, but not in Scotland, in Poland during the Second World War. Nazis threatened by the Polish national identity represented by the bagpipes ordered Polish people not to play their version. The bagpipe has a vast family, with most countries from Macedonia to Libya to Spain to Serbia to Finland having their own variety. Although the Scottish bagpipe is part of this vast family, it's developed its own unique sound and music through centuries of piping families' work and dedication to the art. And its music has become well known worldwide mostly down to Scotland's famous Highland regiments and the expansion of the British Empire. In fact, many Commonwealth and ex-Commonwealth nations swap their indigenous bagpipes for the great Highland bagpipe in military events. Thus, the world's biggest producer of the instrument is actually Pakistan. The bagpipe's popularity was also boosted with Scottish pipers being military trained in the First and Second World Wars. This coincided with the decline in traditional bagpipes throughout Europe, which came about because of the rise of classical instruments and later the gramophone and radio. And this popularity has been boosted even further in recent years with a resurgence in folk music even combining bagpipes and rock music in a new genre called bag rock. Go check out the Red Hot Chili Pipers, they are so much fun. But all this got me thinking, if bagpipes aren't actually Scottish, how much of our cultural identity is what we initially thought? Is our cultural identity defined by who wins the wars? The Romans or the British Empire? What do you think? Where are you from and what defines your culture and your culture's music? Don't get me wrong, I love bagpipes and I love Scottish music, but I love it even more to know that its development is linked to instruments, music and people worldwide. That my Scottish upbringing means I'm part of an even more incredible world culture with diverse people and diverse bagpipes. I realise that world culture and local culture will shift and change just as it did in Roman times or with the Jacobites or with the invention of bag rock. It reminds me that we can try and be as divided as we want but even something of specific cultural significance wouldn't have come about if it wasn't for a greater world culture. So wherever we're from, Let's not exclude others because of the differences. Let's celebrate what distinct and different cultures have to offer to the world. 
let's celebrate diversity. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and do click the notification button. I also have to give a big thanks to my patrons. As per usual, these videos would not happen without them. If you'd like to know a little bit more about my Patreon, please do check out patreon.com slash bethroars. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Do 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 do